In this video, I'm going to give you my best tips to build a personalized experience with your leads and customers using a team inbox. We recently released a special feature at Crisp and it helps us a lot to build a personalized experience in terms of customer service. I'm Antoine, CMO at Crisp, the place where companies improve their customer service. So today, you're going to see how simple it is to personalize your email signature from a team inbox. It will make your email signature much more powerful. We've all been to that point when you're replying to a customer from your inbox, but you can't add that special signature to make your email a bit more personal. At Crisp, we just enabled the ability to add a custom email signature to your team inbox. Let's have a look at it. So once you've read your inbox, you can simply go to your settings and then look at your website settings and check for the operators in your own team. This is the place where you'll have to set the job role of each of your members. So for example, Camille is customer success. Elliot will be the developer and I will be sales and marketing. Once you've been able to do that, simply go back to your settings click on website settings settings once again and look for advanced configuration inside the advanced configuration you can see that you have a custom email signature that is disabled activate it and here is the place where you will have the ability to customize your own email signature how to add the previous information that we've just set through uh, the settings of the operators simply use the replacement tag inside which you can see multiple and various information such as job title, full name, first name, last name. So in our example, let's build it like this. Operator name full, then we'll add job role. So once you've been able to add the full name and the title, I suggest you to add a company's logo so that you can display your brand identity inside each message that you are sending. So I'll suggest you to add an image, select it from your own computer. And as you can see, it's uploaded over our own servers. Then I'll suggest you to add a link to your website and simply use that button. Finally, I'll add a call to action to your social networks because it's always great for a user to join other people that are talking about your product. So, If you don't know what an email signature looks like, check it out in the comments. There's some example available for you. Now that you're all set and have a custom email signature available inside your team inbox, here are some tips to make your life much easier. Don't leave now. So tips number one, don't make your email signature too long. It will make it bulky and tough to understand. Instead, try to keep your signature to the point and tell it to your brand so that it can reflect the brand identity. You're not doing support of the phone. Well, that might be interesting not to add your phone number to your email signature. Very active on Twitter? That would be really worth it to have, to have links to your social networks inside your email signature. Now you get it. Showing important information over your email signature is vital, but bringing too much information can destabilize your customers. And that's all about tips number two, font size. And we haven't talked about colors yet. Indeed, keep it simple. Don't try to show more something than other thing. Just remember, keep it simple, guys. And remember, less is more. Make it look like it's the best choice for your email signature. Don't try to go too complicated. Try to choose something that has a normal typeface and that will be able to go along with all your brand identity. Once you've been able to define colors, well, there's one last thing that needs to be worked on. It's Yearkey. Yearkey is a powerful solution that helps you to attract customers' eyes. A great email signature puts the email author's name up so it attracts attention. From then, you simply have to go down to display the right information at the right place. For more information about visual hierarchy, feel free to check it out in the description. I've added some links to help you to define what element should go before another. 
Finally, uh, I would say that the most important thing is for you to have the ability to define what your balance is between text, images, and links, for example, so that you can make it really personal while staying professional. When it comes to designing your own email signature, well, there's plenty of examples over the web, so I've added some links in the description. Feel free to check them out. They are here to help you guys and give you some inspiration before you create your own. Now, you can get started with your email signature. And my first question is, what are you going to do first? Um, I would really love to hear about you guys and what you're going to do uh, thanks to our advices. Which of these tips are you going to use to make your email signature look unique? Well, I'd love to see them inside the comments and tell me, please, what you've been doing thanks to that. If you like that video, please smash that like button and feel free to subscribe to our channel in which you'll find plenty of different videos that will give you some really interesting insight about how to improve your customer service. Thanks for watching.